Well, Ben, this is the first time we've done anything like this. Yeah. And I think it has to be said that this is the first time that two Brighton Hove Albion supporters. There we go. Come on. In the building together. Ever. Both drummers. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, well, probably yeah. ever. I mean, I don't know <laughs> if. Uh, so. Here we go. So right. maybe I'll chuck a few football questions in here. Okay. Who knows? Um, to start off with, I want you to show everybody maybe a little sticking exercise um, and keep it going. And I'm going to ask you some questions. For the duration of the... For the duration of the six, seven minutes of this interview. Okay. We can't go too ambitious here then. Mm. We'll go for the, uh, the flam tap tap. Okay. Nice. Tell me when you feel comfortable. All right. You there? You got it? Okay, here we go. So you're stranded on a desert island, you've got your drum kit, you've got your cymbals, you've got all your amenities. Okay. It's a little, little bit like being in the jungle, but you can take one luxury item. Okay. What would that luxury item be? I've got my sticks. You've got your sticks. Okay. Um, a knife. Okay. A knife. Good. One drum book. You can only have one drum book. What drum book would you take? I would take... Um, Modern Drummer magazine. Oh, okay. Now, you can have one piece of music. Now, you're going to have to listen to this music for a long time. So, one album. One album. One album. What would the album be? It would be The Beatles Abbey Road. Oh, nice album. Any particular reason? You've got memories? It's my favourite Beatles album. Okay. So, which drummer, dead or alive, would you like to be sitting next to on that air long haul flight to the Desert Island? Cool. Two in the spin, That's the last one's still the same. Artist dead or alive that you would like to work with? Um, dead or alive? Dead or alive. Uh, Dave Brown. Grohl. Dave Grohl. Okay. So I'm going to chuck in a football question because we have to. Your favourite current Brighton Hove Albion player? Uh, Pascal Gross. Wow, yeah, that's a good call actually. Okay, and who was the first player that you got into when you started following up? Um, I like Liam Bricker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Advice you would give a 15 year old Ben Thatcher? Um, never choose the flam tap tap for an interview <laughs> in the future. <laughs> okay. Do you stretch before you go out and play? I messed that up, sorry. That's um, okay. I do, yeah. Yeah. I didn't used to, I'm getting older. Okay. Do you, what, do you, what do you do? Can you tell us what you do without having to? Um, I just hit cushions really okay. hard okay. and just get that blood flowing before the gigs. So, I mean, especially because there's only the two of you on the stage, do you find that you have to go through any particular ritual before you go out and play? No, I think it's about keeping you cool, mm -hmm. not getting too hyped up, um, drinking lots of water, mm -hmm. hydrate yourself, and uh, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, I get stiff arms quite a bit. Okay. So it's about making sure that preventing that from happening, which is, yeah, just blood flow and uh, not going too hard. And what about when you're actually playing? Do you take on any particular fluids and... You may need tequila. Uh, do you? Yeah, tequila, okay. beer, okay. beer, water. Okay. Yeah. Our so shows are quite short. Yeah. So, an okay. hour and a half of that. All right, I'm going to throw in another football question because yeah. I, after... I don't know, 50 years of being a Brighton Hove Albion supporter, it still does it to me. Does the football result affect your performance? No. No? Can't let anything affect it. That's good. So yeah. even when we lost 6-1 against Aston Villa. Get on with it. Get, get on, on with on. it. Excellent. Okay. Um, the song that you wish you played drums on? Um, Easy Lover. Oh, any particular reason? I think the drums and the groove are oh, just fantastic. Totally agree. I love it. Absolutely. Phil Collins, by the way. Phil Collins and Philip Bailey. Uh, are you a cocktail or beer drinker? Beer, but I would have a cocktail as well. Okay, so final question. You've done really well. Final question. What advice would you give younger people now coming into the music industry? And I just, before you answer that, and that's stress to everyone, obviously you came through music college, you went to music college. Kind of did. It was, okay. Yeah, it wasn't like a BIM. I went through, um, I did a BTEC in Chichester College yeah. of, in popular music, so I guess so. Yeah, so what advice would you give younger members coming through? Um, practice, mainly. Practice and enjoy it. If, if you're 
if you've got a passion for music and and I guess listen, listen to people's playing, listen to those little moments that they put in songs and and uh, yeah, just have fun. Cool. Okay. Now keep that going for a little bit longer because we're going to put some. Um, something else in here. So, where do you think Brighton are going to finish this season? Um, top five. Interesting. How do you think they're going to get on in Europe? Uh, I, I feel privileged to be in Europe and just watch them play it. So, I'm not expecting too much. Yeah. I expect them just to go out there and enjoy it. You know what? I love that. As a, as a younger Brighton Hub Albion supporter, I think that you're true. That we have to just remember where we've come oh, from. absolutely. Ben Thatcher, you may now stop playing the band. Thank you very much. See you guys. <laughs>